Hey guys, it's Nan, and I want to say thank you. So I got a sign and you get to see my face, lucky you. So I wanted to say thank you, especially to Anne Marie Ritterhoff. She gave me a shout out on her YouTube channel and I love watching her videos. So it meant so much to me that she even knew who I was. I, I was really excited about that. And so I want to thank her and I want to thank all of you subscribers. Um, it's awesome. It's awesome to know I'm not just talking to myself in the basement that somebody is listening. So thank you. And now I, we're going to do a hammer pour. So I'm going to tilt you back down. I am really hoping that my face was in that because the, and I think I'm going, I'm going to back you up. The last few attempts at doing that, I'm going to move you over here. Um, you could not see my face at all. Um, you could see other parts of me, but not my face, not where, not where you needed to be. So let's see. I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to get my camera far away, but so that you can still see. All right. I really like mallet pours. Oh, tape stuck to me. But um, oh, I'm gonna put tape on the back of this while we are talking. Um, mallet pours are really, really messy. And I've got paintings down here that are all over that are drying. And I don't want to hit them. And the hammer is a lot less messy. There's so much less surface area that um, it just doesn't kick up a splash like the mallet does. It doesn't give... Um, before I tried the mallet, I loved the hammer only. And then I tried the mallet, and I love that. And so, but we're going to do hammer. Um, and... I'm looking around my room, wondering if you, oh, there's my hammer. If you were a hammer, where would you be? I'm going to go back to this hammer. I had bought, I'll show you. I had bought another hammer that was lighter weight, but this one's smaller. So it's just not as good to work with. So I will toss that one over there. And all my paints have been mixed already. I'm going to spray some silicone into them right now. And I think I will do, 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 do this color. And some orange. And then I think I'll add teal, but... I'm not going to add silicone to that because that's already in a container and I don't want to mess with it. So Duraclean white, oh, that must have been from when I put it upside down. And hopefully this is enough. I'm trying not to over pour my white because I usually do and it's such a waste. but I don't think this is enough. So I will add more. I've been spray painting and all sorts of stuff in the garage. It smells kind of funky in my house now. Nobody's home tonight, but I'm hoping I'm hoping that it airs out somewhat by the time they get home. I think I have become immune to the smells, which probably isn't a good thing, but I do. Oh, I do wear a, um, a mask when I, when I spray, but I mean, I can, as soon as you take it off, everything stinks anyway, so. All right, let's get some white. 
This is a skinny canvas. It's a four by 12 and um, it's actually more challenging to pour on this size. It's just, it's an odd size. So first off, I'm trying to decide what pattern I should pour in. And I think I may do one, two, three. So, so then I'm just petal pouring. These colors. I love this color. It's so pretty. What was the oh orange? I've been using these colors a lot lately. I just they're just pretty. And I tend to get stuck in them. I made that black and red one the other day. But the part of it at the end, we'll, I show it on the one side that is really gray. It's really weird looking. So I'm going to see if I can pour, I'm going to move all my paints. Let's see if I can pour white over it because um, the rest of it's really neat. But that part is just not good. Not good at all. Where's my hammer again? Okay. Good Lord. Remember. So as I said, a mallet, a mallet, I could hit this and I'm going to spray the whole room. Hammer, more control, less mess. Um, not as striking results, but then I got to think all the previous ones that I've made and sold were all hammer. So I have to remember the hammer was really good. <laughs> when I was doing shows, people were like, how do you do this? I'm like a hammer. They're like, what? What do you mean a hammer? I'm like, just like I said, I just smack it. So smack, smack, oh, <laughs> I lied, it is messy. Smack, really messy. Boy, I hit those really right on the nose though. There wasn't even paint on the head of it really. Um, while you're staring at that, I'm gonna mop myself up a little. Because I kind of look like a smurf. It's like. Alright. I don't really like what happened there. I don't usually get. That's kind of the first time I've ever gotten like a zigzaggy like that. I'm not really fond of it. Um. So as you can tell, I'm staring at this, trying to decide what should be my next, my next thing. Um, ooh, I may end up just tilting because I'm really not loving the hammer, what it did. Usually you see me wiping stuff off, and I'd really prefer not to do that. But I really, I don't like, I just don't like any of it. It's just not a very good composition. So, say bye-bye. Now I shall try it again, and oh, I may do a gentle mallet pour, or gentle mallet hit. So since I didn't wipe it off all the way, some of that color is going to pop through, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Sometimes that actually yields some really interesting results, because look, see, that's so cool. If it was over the whole thing, I could keep it like that, but I know all you're seeing is the back of the canvas right now. I apologize. All right. So we've got 
tons of colors going on on this side, but they're starting to... Yeah, they are popping through. It's really pretty under there. Alright, anywho. Hmm. This is really pretty. And I keep saying I'm going to do it where I put color. You know what? I'm going to. I've been saying I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do it. And I'm going to wipe off a little bit of this. I've been... I keep... Oh, that wasn't good. The stir stick wasn't isn't very clean. So I've been saying for a while because that, uh, that I'm just going to pour and then pour the paint on top. I'll show you what I'm going to do. I have it in my head. Let's see if this works. It might not. So I'm going to start like this. In my head, it's looking really cool. In real life, it might not. So just bear with me. If it works, I'm going to need to come up with a good name. Like the dirty flipping drugs, so I'm going to have to come up with a good name. All right, so I'm just gonna So we've got that. Mm, hopefully this works. In my head it is. Because I want it to be like that leftover looking paint, but it may end up just covering it all and I may end up with nothing which isn't what I want. In my head, it's so cool, but my head doesn't seem to be, or the canvas doesn't seem to be doing the same thing that my head is wanting it to do. I'm loving those little bits though. Maybe I can just drag them out more. Because that color has not dripped off, so it's under there. Let's see if I can... It seemed much better in my brain. But now I know that it's not a good idea. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and torch it though, cause I still think there's a bunch of color hiding down there. And torching will, should bring it up if there is. So it brought up color. Now let's tilt it some more. Cause I'm gonna end up wiping this off because I mean it's ugly. But um it was a fun experiment and now now I don't have to wonder um what happens if I do that because I've always I'm like, I wonder what would happen if I, if I put the paint, now I'm just playing with it, but I always wondered what would happen, and now I know that pretty much nothing happens. So, that's that. I'm going to wipe this off, and that's that for this video.
Um, just gonna give it a quick, quick wipe. Whoa, losing it. Oh my goodness gracious. That's ridiculous. So, well, I hate to do my thank you video and then have, you know, then nothing, then have it be a pour that didn't work. So, I'm going to have to end it on, I'm going to do a flip and drag because I can't end it on a failed pour. You know, it's my, it's my thank you video to all of you. So, we got to try and end it somewhat successfully, don't we? Even though that pour was not unsuccessful because it solved the burning question in my head, what if? So it was not unsuccessful. It was not a pretty pour, but now I know. Can't be afraid to try new things. I'm just trying to get the white everywhere. So that's probably why I go through like gallons of white a week. Because I get really decisive about my pores and then end up wiping them off. Oh, this, since I didn't really wipe my canvas, it's, um, it's kind of blue over here. Alright, so let's... Let's flip and drag this across. There we go. Yeah, look at that that green one was like, yes, I'm here. Hello. It means I've been painting too long today if the paint is talking to me. But I'm not done. I want to try and pour this table tonight. Really excited about that. And I put you so far away because of the hammer that I don't know how much of this you're even seeing. Kind of looks like a galaxy down there. And I like it. It's not the traditional flip and drag appearance. But it's really pretty. So this all needs to come down. So there we go. I'm just gonna help it. I'm gonna tilt it almost vertical because it's moving really slow. There, now it's finally starting to move. Could be moving slow because of all the paint that was underneath that I hadn't fully wiped off. But it is not, it's not wanting to uh, move. I may end up, let's see if I just swipe that. Now let's see if it will move. Come on, Pete. You can do it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my goodness. There's just not a lot of paint on it. Let's just tilt this bad boy upright. Totally upright. The side here is looking really neat. Maybe people can just display this piece on its side. Could hang it up like a shelf. And then they'd see the sign. It's 
almost there, guys. I can, I can tell it's almost there. Ugh, I have to lean. It's taking so long. I'm getting hungry. Neat things are happening though, isn't it? Alright, I'm getting impatient. So, I'm going to do that. And it's just going to have side because it does not want to move anymore. This is really pretty. <laughs> I can't believe all of that made something pretty. I'm going to lightly torch. And I will zoom you in. You're so far away. Hopefully you could see. So there it is. There's so much um, paint in the paint tray, it's kind of hard to tell what the painting is. Um, I don't even have put it on this because it is really a neat painting and it's really hard to see it with all that other stuff. So, let's see if that helps. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.